Hi, I'm Don Goldberg with TechView, and I've got Bruce Klein, Senior Vice President for the Public Sector with Cisco with me today to talk about trends in education and, uh, and certainly in school districts that are facing uh, budget issues. And Bruce, thanks for being here. So thanks, we've Tom. seen with the, with the economy and, and, and school districts have had to cut budgets, and one of the things they do is they classroom size gets bigger, they cut out some of their um, schools themselves might get closed down, fewer classes, less offerings. Technology used to be a want, now with the budget cuts it's really a need. How is Cisco helping in that area? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned a couple things. One is, you know, how, how are the this, this student, from an administration standpoint, mm -hmm. using technology, but also, you know, the key needs of that K-12 through uh, school district is still there. You know, how do they improve test scores right. for the kids? How do they provide more of an inclusive learning environment with the parents, teachers, and faculty in, involved in the learning process? And how do they create kids with a creative thinking, problem-solving, collaborative mentality mm -hmm. so they're prepared to go on to college and prepare for the 21st century economy, right? Right. So we're, we're playing a big role. Cisco's playing a big role in that. We've got a complete 21st century education program, and we're working with schools uh, not only on the technology piece, because it really starts, if you're thinking about transformation, mm -hmm. it starts with the curriculum that goes on today right. in schools. It's, it, it includes how teachers teach and how to make sure they're trained to teach in this environment. Right. And then it's the technology piece. And those kind of the three pillars of what we're working with, with various schools. And I'll give you an example, like in New York City, we've been working quite a bit with Joel Klein, who's mm -hmm. the superintendent of schools there. Sure. And as he has a concept to let his principals think of different ways to look at teaching as long as this test scores stay high or increasing. Mm -hmm. And we're working on a, a concept called iSchools. And the iSchool concept that they had was all around problem solving and creative thinking for students and using technology so that they can look at problems, use all the various things that they would learn individually, but uh, really focus on how do they solve a particular problem, mm -hmm. come to an end result, and work in teams and collaborate and use technology to do research. And so we work very closely with, with New York to put that concept together. And what they're seeing is that those students' test scores are increasing. Mm -hmm. So all these different concepts can really transform education the way it is today. So, I mean, when we were in school, you'd be lectured to for that 45 minutes by somebody at the top of the class. Now you need to reach kids before school, during class, after class, and technology is really the way to do that. It is, because you know how our kids, or you have kids, right. or our kids learn today. Absolutely. It's not just in the classroom. Right. When they come home, they're not on TV, they're on the net. They're researching, they're collaborating with their friends. It's a constant learning environment. And how do you take advantage of that to make it a, a constant learning environment? So it's the classroom, it's at home, it's when they're with their friends, mm -hmm. and you provide that environment, and the teacher becomes a coach on how to coach right. the kids on how to learn and how to problem solve and how to think creatively and how to work together in teams that will really prepare the students to be successful in college and in the 21st century economy. And, uh, and how does this help, uh, you know, you have schools that are shut down for weather issues or maybe there's an H1N1 epidemic. This keeps them from having to shut down totally. They can still reach the kids. Exactly, exactly. As you can reach the kids right in their home mm -hmm. and projects can be done in school or out of school. The technology is, is, is capable. They're doing it today, right? right. They have the social networks right. today. So why don't you take that concept into the home and make it a learning environment where the school doesn't have to be brick and mortar. It can be anywhere. And as long as test scores are doing even better, then people shouldn't be afraid that technology is going to somehow not be the traditional way to teach. Exactly, Don. Well, I think this is something that school districts are going to have to embrace, especially, like I said, with budget cuts. But thank you for True. talking about that and being here. Okay, thank That's you. Great. I'm Don Goldberg for TechView.